ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we are putting that power to the test here on K-Check! Si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang. Welcome to another week of competition here on K-Check. We're halfway through this season in our quest for a new K-Check champion, but the search continues at tuloy pa rin ang Brain Power Challenge sa ating mga contestants. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil in the end, that new K-Check champion will be revealed. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Ira is a fourth-year business administration student from UP Diliman. She loves watching basketball and is an avid Golden State Warriors fan. She also listens to, of course, sa fellow Swift nito, Taylor Swift and the script. Hirsch is a student of PUP. She's a former fan of K-pop group 17, and her hobbies are watching K-dramas, playing Mobile Legends, and doing makeup. Former fan na lang. Oo nga, tatanungin natin yan mamaya. Si Mark naman ay isang estudyante ng Koleyo ng Edukasyon sa UP Diliman. Siya ay kumukuha ng secondary education, major in social studies. His hobbies include photography, reading, listening to music, particularly indie, OPM at K-pop. At si Nika naman is a mathematics student at UP Diliman. Her hobbies include dancing, watching K-dramas, and the best of all, eating. Her favorite street food in UP is karaoke. She loves OPM songs and her favorite artists are the Ridleys and Over October. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Get ready to buzz in and go for the early lead. Each correct answer in the round is worth 10 points. So, let's begin. This is round one, question number one. What sweet substance made up approximately of 80% sugar and 18% water is dubiously said to be a food that will never spoil Ira? Uh, honey. Honey is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two. Crimson and scarlet are shades of what primary color? Mark. Red. Red is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three. According to the first book of Timothy, the love of what is the root of all evil? Mark. Money. Money, of course. Okay, check. Question number four. What do you call the part of the body where two or more bones meet to allow movement? Ira. Joint. Joints like the knee, shoulder, ankle, and hip. Joint is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number five. In food. Literally, the Italian pasta farfalle is in the shape of what flying insect? Oh, there's a correction. It's farfalle. <laughs> it's supposed to look like the butterfly. Question number six. Which singer performed the title theme song in the James Bond movie Spectre? As well as, I'm not the only one in Uncoupled. Hirsch. Sam Smith? Sam Smith is the correct answer. K-check. Question number seven. The word oriental refers to what direction? Uh, east. The east is the correct answer. K-check. Question number eight. In mental math this time, if two fair coins are tossed, what is the probability of getting two heads? 25%. 25% or one-fourth is the correct answer. K-check. Question number nine. C 
CDO is the abbreviated name of which Philippine city? Nika. Cagayan de Oro City. Cagayan de Oro is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What everyday unit of capacity is equal to 4 quarts or 3.8 liters? The correct answer is gallon. Question number 11. In May 2024, the scorching heat wave forced officials to close schools in what capital city of Thailand where dozens of people have died of heat stroke? Mark. Bangkok. Bangkok is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12. And the last question for this round. Politically, Madagascar is part of which continent? Ira. Africa. Africa is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round one. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gavi, for that round. So ngayon mag-scores recap muna tayo. On the lead, si Ira at si Mark with 40 points each. At si Hirsch naman at si Nika ay may 10 points each. So, contestants dito sa ating uh, show, meron tayong favorite segment na mas kinikilala namin ng inyong mga background. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Ayan. Simulan natin si... Daming audience dito sa diba? studio. Basta Kay Chica oh. talaga eh. Si Ira muna. Si Ira fan ka ng Golden State Warriors. Wala ka bang local team na deserve siguro na maging fan ka rin? Um, siguro sa UP Fighting Maroons na lang po. Pero PBA hindi po ako masyadong nanan nanonood eh. Pero sa UAAP nanonood ka? UAAP for sure po. Anong season yung favorite mo so far? Um, yung nanalo po tayo na season. Oh, naman, the past two seasons medyo kinonte, kinapos po. Pero season doon pa rin? Yes po. Siyempre, after... 36 years. Yes. Tapos this year, host ang UP, no? Correct. So, Hirsch naman, spill the tea. Na, spill the tea. Gen Z. Alam ko yan. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit naman former fan ng 17 ang tawag mo sa sarili mo? Anyari? Um, Nabisi rin po kasi sa ads. Tapos, nagka-love life. <laughs> Ay. Ay. Nakakas love life. <laughs> Oo. Talaga. So, love life, akad, 17. Ay, pwede mong pagsabayin. Hindi na po. Kahit pakinggan mo nga pang nag-a-acad siya. Oo. Hindi na po. Minsan na lang po. Ganun. Grabe. Ngayon ko lang narinig yun. Pati ang, pati ang ano, pati ang favorite music Oo. at music group. Nalimutan na. Okay. Maraming salamat. Ira at si Hirsch. Mamaya naman kakausapin natin si Mark at Nika. Pero ngayon, maghanda naman tayo for round 2. Dahil susunod na yan, dito lang sa... Okay, Welcome back everyone. Bago tayong magpatuloy, isang points recap lang. Of course, Ira and Mark are in first place with 40 points each, followed by Hirsch and Nika who have 10 points each. So, eto na naman tayo as promised, di ba? Babalik na naman tayo dito sa ating favorite portion na tinatawag nating Kay Chica! <laughs> Hanep talaga ang audience natin. Talagang mabubuhay ka dito. So Mark, what is the dream attached dyan sa kurso mong secondary education? At ano naman ang mga plano mo pag ikaw ay nag-graduate na? Um, naging, yung dream ko po nun is yung mga pinsan ko po kasi pag tinuturoan ko, na, natututo sila and I feel fulfilled na I can share the knowledge po. and after after graduation I plan to work po sa public high school. Ganyan talaga tatak UP. May your tribe increase, Mark, no? Thank you, Mark. So mula sa usaping future plans, usaping merienda naman tayo. <laughs> si Nika, so bakit karaoke ang favorite mong merienda dito sa UP? Inaaraw-araw mo ba itong karaoke? Hindi naman araw-araw, mga twice a week. <laughs> Pero may sweet tooth po kasi ako. So anything sweet, I love it. Tapos, ever since I entered UP, dito ko lang siya na-discover. Tapos naging favorite ko na rin siya. Kasi saan-saan lang siya nakikita. Eh. May dala ka ba? <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, pag gusto mo naman ng pag ay mo na ng sweet, salty naman, mm -hmm. lumpiang toge na may sweet. Ali ka na, kaya mo na tayo. <laughs> so, thank you to all our contestants. We always enjoy that particular portion. That portion called 
Okay, Chica. Chica. Alert, alert. Alert, <laughs> di ba? And now it's time for round two. So mga contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure to strategize. Alam nyo naman na sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you will lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two. Question number one. At 140.53 meters, the longest bread of this type was baked in France in May 2024, according to Guinness. What do you call this baked item that we often call French bread? Mark. Baguette. Ba baguette is correct. K check. Question number two. Isaac Merritt Singer was an inventor associated with what device that may have two needles and thread? Ira. Sewing machine. Sewing machine is correct. K check. Question number three. Released in November 2022 by Open AI, which form of generative AI is capable of generating human-like text based on context and past conversations? Ira. Chat GPT. Chat GPT is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. San Lorenzo Ruiz died at the age of 42 in 1637 in what Japanese city, which is also the last city where an atomic bomb was dropped during war? Ira. Nagasaki. Nagasaki is correct. Key check. Question number five. From what language of 75 million speakers worldwide does Danke mean thank you? Mark. Deutsch. Deutsch is also correct. German or Deutsch is correct. Key check. Thank you. Question number six. Which actor? Starred in the 2023 film Retribution, 15 years after getting famous for his role in Taken. The correct answer is Liam Neeson. Panad ba yan? Question number seven. In science, what small animal has a name that means 100 feet? Although it may have up to 300 legs. Ira. Centimeter. That's wrong. Sorry. Centipede. Centipede is correct. K check. Question number eight. In what town in Tarlac did Alice Guo? Ira. Bamban. Let me proceed. Become mayor in 2022. Bamban is correct. K check. si Ira. Question number nine. What is the name of the concert tour that kicked off in Paris for its European swing on May 9, Ira? Eras Tour. That's correct. Eras Tour is K-Check. That's May 9, 2024, the top build Taylor Swift. K-Check. Thank you, Ira. Siyempre, Swift, ka alam mo yan. Question number 10. In the 2002 Spider-Man movie, what is the name of the villain that Norman Osborn develops into which was played by Willem Dafoe. Ira. Oh, Green Lantern. Green Lantern is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is Green Goblin. Sayang. Question number 11. What very hard natural igneous rock that is rich in quartz is commonly used as building stone, flooring, and kitchen countertops? Mark. Marble. Marble is wrong. Anyone can steal? Ira. Limestone. Limestone is wrong. Hirsch or Nika, you can steal. The correct answer is granite. Last question for this round, number 12. Which aid the camp of Emilio Aguinaldo during the Philippine Revolution? rose to become the President of the Commonwealth of the Philippines in 1935. Ira. Magdalo. Magdalo is wrong. We're asking for a president, a person. Mark? Manuel Quezon. Manuel Quezon is correct. K-check. And that ends round number two. 
Thank you very much for that round, Jules. And after that exciting round, well, we have Mark with 110 points, Ira following very closely with 100 points, Hirsch and Nika who are tied with 10 points each. Right. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check! Points recap muna tayo. Mark is in the lead with 110 points, followed by Ira with 100 points, at sinundan ni na Hirsch at Nika with 10 points each. In the lead man si Mark, ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15 point deduction for wrong answers. So contestants for this multiple choice round, please remember, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Dito din sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So this is your last chance para humabol. Lalo na kay Hirsch at saka kay Nika. So good luck sa inyong lahat and let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Pro Sophie. Thank you, Jules. Let's start with something easy. In traditional color theory, red, yellow, and blue are called primary colors because they are not created by mixing other colors together. Mixing equal parts of two primary colors together results in what colors? A. Tertiary B. Complementary C. Secondary Ira C. Secondary um, Let me finish D. Intermediate E. Grayscale C. Secondary is correct K. Check Thank you Next question from Prof. Neil These works are prepared by hand including handwritten or typewritten drafts of publication papers, not otherwise in multiple copies. A. Documents B. Drafts C. Manuscripts Ira C. Manuscripts Okay. Ang tamang sagot, letter C. Manuscripts K. Check Thank you. Next question, Prof. Marla. Sa physics naman, what is the term for the rate of change of velocity? A. Force B. Power C. Momentum D. Acceleration D. Acceleration Let me finish. E. Energy The correct answer is D. Acceleration K. Check Thank you. Off to our second set of questions, Prof. Sophie. The scream from 1893 which depicts a screaming figure on a bridge during sunset was painted by which artist? A. Pablo Picasso B. Salvador Dali C. Vincent van Gogh D. Edvard Munch E. Paul Cezanne Yeah, I thought all everyone knew about yung the scream. You know, yung ano yung bridge. It looks like finals week. Yes, that. <laughs> finals week. <laughs> finals <laughs> week. Yes. Um, it's so universal. Um, it was painted by the Norwegian artist Edvard Munch. Thank you so much, Prof. Sophie. Next question, Prof. Neil. Southeast Asian history tayo. Sa anong imperyo sa ASEAN? Namuno ang mga hari na sina Surya Varman, Jaya Varman, at Yasu Varman. A. Ayutthaya B. Khmer C. Majapahit D. Sailendra E. Ishrivejaya Mark Majapahit Mali!
paborito nating pinupuntahan nito. Ito yung pinakamalaking templo sa buong mundo. Makikita rito ang Angkor. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, imperyo ng mga Khmer. Thank you. Prof. Marla, next question. Thank you. Which of the following is an example of a genetic technique used in forensic medicine? A. DNA sequencing B. Blood pressure measurement C. Electrocardiography D. Magnetic resonance imaging E. Physical therapy Mark, DNA sequencing A. DNA sequencing is correct. K. Check. Okay, we're halfway done, attorney. Yes, we're Mark. halfway done. And um, Ira now leads with 160 points. Mark follows with 125. Nika in third place with 40 and Hirsch with 10. Pero, hindi pa rin natin alam, di ba, kung sino ang mananalo. Dahil sa second half, meron pang possible na? 180 points. 180 points. points. So, simulan na natin uh, ang ating no third No pressure, set. contestants. No pressure. No pressure. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay. To the Ifugao, what is a carved wooden figure depicting granary gods guarding the rice crops called A. Manunggul Jar B. Bulol Mark Bulol okay, Let me finish C. Man in a Barrel D. Higante E. Likha The correct answer is Bulol K. Check Thank you Umahabul na si Mark diba? Five points na lang Five Ira. points na lang Prof. Neil which company introduced the first smartphone in the world? A. Apple B. IBM C. Motorola C. Motorola Mali D. Nokia D. Sonar D. Nokia Mali A. Apple Mali E. Sony Mali <laughs> <laughs> Out of five possible answers, four have been answered incorrectly. <laughs> Mali ang process of elimination. <laughs> De, mas alam natin na nasa outsourcing business ang kumpanyang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, IBM. Sila pala. So, hindi Razer yun. Thank you. Okay. Next question, Prof. Marla. What is a common characteristic of organisms called extremophiles? A. Limited reproduction B. Slow metabolism C. High adaptability D. Short lifespan E. Low oxygen consumption Ira. C. High adaptability Extremophiles are microorganisms that live in conditions of extreme temperature, acidity, alkalinity, or chemical concentration. In short, they are uh, they live in extreme conditions. Therefore, they have letter C, high adaptability. K okay, check. Now we're off to our last set of questions. Yes, and Ira is still in the lead with 175 points. Mark with 140, Nika with 25, and Hirsch with negative 5 points. Yes, pero may 90 points pa na pwede niyong pag-agawan. Prof. Sophie. Um, thank you. Um, this for cooler weather. The parol, signifying the star of Bethlehem, is a popular Christmas ornament made with bamboo sticks and paper. However, the winners of the annual Giant Lantern Festival can measure up to 20 feet in diameter and have up to 8,000 light bulbs. Where is the Giant Lantern Festival held? Ira. San Fernando, Pampanga. Ay, let me finish all the um, choices. A. Angono Rizal B. San Fernando, Pampanga C. Bacolod Negros Occidental D. Calibuaclan E. Paki Laguna, San Fernando, Pampanga is correct. K. Check. Next question, Prof. Neil. Yeah. In the Philippines, historic place names 
should be in existence for at least blank number of years and have become historic over time. A50, B60, C75, D100, E150. Batay sa bagong batas, hindi na pwedeng palitan ang pangalan ng isang lugar kung 50 years na ang tagal nito. So ang tamang sagot ay letter A, 50. Thank you. Last question, Prof. Marla. How many meters are in 1.5 kilometers? A, 500. B, 1,500. C, Ira. B, 1,500. Let me finish reading the choices. C, 3,000. D, 3,500. E, 15,000. Letter B, 1,500 is correct. K, check. And that's it for K, check ultimate pagalingan. Congratulations to Ira, our K, check daily winner with a final score of 235 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with her other daily winners for a spot in her semifinal. Siyempre, maraming salamat din kay Hirsch, kay Mark, at saka kay Mika for joining us today. And of course, to our Suki members of the panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another... K-Check! K-Check!